going to do a very simple uh, lining inside without pockets. Uh, so I want to show you how to do that process, okay? Okay, so this one is a, um, a round base bag, right? here. So we need the, the base, which is round, and then we need uh, the side, which is going to be a rectangle rectangle right okay so how did I I already cut the lining here is I just use a normal um, rice color I will say so I just did cut the base and I also cut the side okay so how did I do this uh, I just uh, Put flat the fabric and I um, on top I put the bag like this see and then you just take a pen and then just take a pen and then go around to mark okay just like this to mark uh, the, the, the place where you need uh, to cut right but uh, of course you won't cut where you uh, mark it but you cut maybe like if you see here i cut it like one or one and a half cm more okay you can see here because this one i will need to connect with the other part as for the side the rectangle for the side i just did like this I, of course, I, I lay flat the fabric and then I just uh, took the bag and and um, fold it in two parts, okay? And then you just put on top of the fabric one and you mark where it starts and then keep everything on one line and where it ends and then you just repeat the same on the other side okay because this one is two sides right okay and then that is the how long it should be okay and then you, the time how high it should be bottom here you can see here is where it folds right the second round and then fold it straight make a straight line just like this and then you see this one is how high it should be okay and then where you had the marker when you mark it put the top and then the end and if you see here uh, I can mark it so this is how high it should be so you have this line and how long it should be you can do this also with a um, checking uh, with a measurement tape okay you can just do that as well and then just put the lines okay but I did this um, on this way uh, so you have this uh, line and then you have this line and just connect the other two sides okay and I ended up having the side okay so this is the side of course i didn't cut directly uh, but i left like one or two cm you can see in both in all four sides i left this because i want to connect uh, with the bottom okay with this one so uh, i usually don't uh, go directly and i couldn't uh, put the phone to film in the sewing machine so i'm just gonna do this by hand so first i will connect i will uh, do like a trial okay i usually do that <laughs> to make sure that i am uh, putting the pieces uh, right so um first i will just uh, connect i will use a simple uh, red line on white just to see what um, I want it different from the color of the lining so I will just do a very row sewing so if you see here I have this one with this part these two sides I will connect together okay like this I will just use this so I can totally see where it should be right I have this line So you can see I need to connect this line here 
with this line here, okay? Put them together. I mean, nothing can be exactly perfect, but more or less, it's going to be like this. can try this one if it fits okay so just take it like this open it and put it inside of the bag I can see from here that actually it fits uh, a little bit too high here but that I can fix at the end okay so it fits if I can if maybe from here it, it, you cannot see very well so now I want to put the bottom part okay so I will try to um, fit the line here with uh, the bottom okay normally it should fit but uh, sometimes, you know, there are mistakes on the way, so I will uh, start from this side because I have the knot here and this will give me trouble, so I will start from here. And I will start to this one without the line from inside and this with a line from outside. Okay. I will start uh, this one I will leave like this and try to fit okay probably it's okay so let's just start sewing a rough one not a perfect good looking one after time check if this line fall uh, um, if uh, this uh, line um, fits with your sewing it doesn't have to be perfect and So from what I checked, it's a little bit uh, bigger now, so I still have to leave um, um, more out. Okay, I can't do it uh, uh, all in the same time, but gradually. See, gradually I'm leaving more. So if I go this way, if I leave a little bit more, it will fit this side with the other side. Okay, so I can just uh, continue and on like this.
okay at the end just I will just totally leave it let me check yeah actually from inside it's good now I want to put this one inside of the bag to check the fitting And it does. I want to show you from inside. You see? It actually does all around. It's a little bit here, but it's because there is nothing inside. It's okay. So it fits. You see? It fits all around. Don't worry about this upper part because this one it will just uh, uh, get cut later on. So now I see that it fits, right? So I will just take it out and I will sew for good the old size, okay? You can just do this with a sewing machine, just uh, get on the... But for me it's difficult to um, film uh, over the sewing machine, so you just uh, sew here and then where you have the red line, where is the red line, okay? And sew around here. So let me just do that, just sew so it's one line here and one here and I will come back to show you uh, later on how to um, connect this uh, the lining with the crochet part okay okay guys I um, finished the sewing with a, a white color I just put it in because I wanted to show you that it matches it fits <laughs> okay um, I had to make it a little bit smaller than the original um, signs that I had because I guess it was too big. So now I will take it out again and I can just take out the red parts. This Um, okay, so then I had these uh, bigger parts, which I can just cut. it's perfect you can wash it and iron it if you want but I'm just going to leave it like this so next it will next is actually the um, lining right but before I put the lining in I want to um, sew the uh, shoulder strap because the lining it will come up to here and the shoulder straps need to uh, need to be so down here okay so I don't want here in the back uh, to sew in the, the strap over the, um, the lining so one and two okay so now let's do the lining first because this is not uh, I didn't use a single crochet so the bag is not standing up by itself so I did put inside some yarn so it will help me to um, put in the right place, okay? Okay, so if you can see now the lining inside is put, I have already uh, put it in the right place, okay? I can just check one time with the hand all around. So it's fine. 
So the sewing is in the right place. So the yarn is going to help me to keep the bag um, up and to uh, put the lining uh, straight, okay? Now I am going to use some uh, needles like this to fix the lining. Okay, and if you see here, this is uh, longer, so I will cut uh, this part here because the lining will come up to here, so this part I will cut. Here. Okay, so I will put some more needles and I will sew it from inside like this up to this level because here the level that I'm sewing is the uh, yellow uh, pattern, okay? So from here let's just put some more needles and then we will sew. Okay, and now you can just, uh, if you want, you can sew it with a sewing machine all around uh, or uh, you can do it by hand, which is what I'm going to do, okay? Because I don't want the uh, white line to see from the outside, to be seen from the outside, okay? I already prepared the needle here with a line. I will do just a, a, a sewing um, like the machine, okay? But I will not uh, put the needle from outside here. You, you will, it will not come out. But I will um, put it in uh, between the um, uh, the crochet part, so you cannot see the white uh, line from outside. Okay, I will do all around and I will show you the finished uh, work. Okay, I arrived at the end. Here I will do a few more times.
and I will cut just at the I will cut just at the edge so you cannot see. Okay guys, so uh, the lining is done. Let me show you. Okay, so uh, this is it. So um, the next step is for me to put the line here. 